Hi everyone! Today I have a different type of video for you and it is about Pokemon cards. The card game is probably my favorite part of the whole Pokemon franchise and I have started to collect Pokemon cards when I was 5 years old. So it has been almost 20 years now and I thought I could share a little bit of my collection with you. So what I want to show you in this video is one of my current decks, which I named Jungle Alarm. Literally translated that means jungle alert, but well, I have to say the name is actually a joke, so if you want to know more about it, you can ask me, but I won't explain it in this video. Okay then, let's see the deck. This is a pure grass type deck, that's why I also chose the Leafeon box, but it doesn't contain a Leafeon. And I will say right away, I'm just a casual player, so this is not a tournament legal deck or anything. It contains cards from all kinds of different sets, old cards, new cards, everything. Um, I chose the Shaman coin for this deck because it originally did contain a Shaman EX, but I took it out later because I decided that I wanted this to be a strong deck despite not including any Pokemon EX, GX or anything of that kind, so it only contains normal Pokemon, let's say. Okay, let's analyze this Jungle Alarm deck. I will go through all of the Pokemon and trainer cards that I've put into this deck and explain the strategy that it uses. In the description of this video, you can find the complete card list of this deck in English. Let's have a look at the energy cards first. This deck contains 23 grass type energy cards. No special energies or anything. So we can get right into the Pokemon next. Let's start with the key elements of my Jungle Alarm deck. The first of which is this Sceptile from Diamond and Pearl Great Encounters, which is not a very strong attacker, but it has this great ability called Wild Growth. This ability has the effect that whenever you have this Sceptile in play, no matter if it's your active Pokemon or on the bench, all of the grass type energies that you have attached to any of your Pokemon count as two grass type energies. So it actually doubles your energy cards in play. And the other key Pokemon is this Venusaur from Sun and Moon Shining Legends. And it has the ability Jungle Totem, which has the same effect as Wild Growth. The Wild Growth or the Jungle Totem ability makes for a great combo with the other Sceptile that I included in this deck. It is from the set Platinum Arceus and its attack Leaf Blast deals 20 damage for every grass type energy that it has attached to it. So when the ability Wild Growth or Jungle Totem is active, it actually deals 40 damage for each grass type energy that is attached to it. Let's see the other strong attackers of this deck. The first one is actually the Venusaur that we've already seen before from Shining Legends. It is also a very good offensive Pokemon as it can deal 90 damage with just two energies. This other Venusaur is from the set Platinum Supreme Victors and I would say it functions more as a defensive Pokemon because it can protect all of my Pokemon from special conditions. Next we have this Golisopod from Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. This is the EX and GX Slayer of this deck, you can say, because with its attack Resolute Claws, it can deal 150 damage to a Pokemon EX or GX with just two energies, given that my key ability is in play. In addition, it is also very hard to knock out because of its ability Armor, that lowers the damage it gets from attacks by 30. Two other Pokemon that are really hard to knock out in this deck are the two Tangrowth. The first one is from Diamond and Pearl Stormfront, so it's actually a pretty old card. But with its ability Green Renewal, it always heals itself by 10 damage between turns. And the second Tangrowth is just simply overpowered, I would say. It's from the set X and Y Steam Siege and its attack Leaf Storm causes 80 damage and heals 40 damage from each of my grass type Pokemon. Lastly, we have Verizion from the set X and Y Ancient Origins. And this one is good for catching up when I'm behind my opponent. 
because with prize count it can deal 120 damage when I have more prize cards remaining than my opponent. I have changed this deck many times and one of the things that I really wanted to improve is the speed. How it is now, it can set up really fast. So you can imagine that I want to have either Sceptile with Wild Growth or Venusaur with Jungle Totem as fast as possible in the game and then I also need some strong attackers. And to get both of those factors as fast as possible, I have many Pokemon and trainers that help me set up my deck. The most important one is this Grovile from the set Sun and Moon Lost Thunder with its ability Sunshine Grace. This ability allows me to search my deck for any grass type Pokemon every single turn. So of course this is the one that I want to get first in game because it can set up all of my other Pokemon. I also have a Trico from the same set in this deck, whose attack Find a Friend has the same effect as Sunshine Grace. And this other Trico is from Diamond and Pearl Stormfront and its attack Call for Friends enables me to search my deck for a basic Pokemon. Then I should also mention Virizion again, because its other attack that I didn't talk about earlier, Bail Out, allows me to search my discard pile for two Pokemon and put them into my hand, so it can actually revive strong Pokemon that have already been knocked out. I also have a Pokemon Rescue, which can also get back a Pokemon from the discard pile. The supporter cards that help me set up this deck include two Celius Network, he can search for any Pokemon. Next, one Roseanne's Research, she can search for two cards which can either be basic Pokemon or basic energy cards. This Beep Search can also search for any Pokemon like Celio, but I need to put one card out of my hand into my deck to do so. And here we have the old card Pokemon Breeder Fields, with which I can evolve up to two of my Pokemon out of my deck if I'm lucky. Since both of my key Pokemon in this deck are stage 2 Pokemon, the Stadium Broken Time Space comes in handy when I really need to evolve them fast. It allows both players to evolve Pokemon in the same turn they played them or already evolved them. Going through the whole deck now, you will also see the cards that I haven't mentioned yet. First we have the 23 Grass type Energy cards. And then we have some trainers that I haven't mentioned yet. Here's Olympia, but after making the video I remembered that I actually wanted to take Olympia out because she isn't very fitting for a grass type deck. And this Mellow is the card that I'm going to put in instead and it is another setup card. The rest of the trainers is for getting or for saving energy cards. We have a Power Tree, a Fluffy Berry, Mr. Stone's Project and Interviewer's Questions. And of course the ones I already showed you. As for the Pokemon, we have the two Sceptile, then three Grovile, and three Trico. Next we have the two Venusaurs. Three Ivysaur, and also three Bulbasaur. Here are the two Tangrowth, and three Tangela. Next up is Golisopod and two Wimpod. And last but not least we have Virizion. As you may have noticed I don't like double cards in my deck so whenever I need to put in multiple cards of the same Pokemon I try to choose them from different sets so that I have some more variety. In fact the only double card in this deck is the Celios Network and of course the energy cards. 
So, in conclusion, my deck Jungle Alarm is based on the strategy Wild Growth and Jungle Totem. I should mention that it is not possible to combine both abilities and have four times as many energy cards, because the card text explicitly states that you can't use two of these abilities at the same time. Now one thing that I'm afraid of in an opponent is of course when he has an ability or an attack that can cancel my wild growth or jungle totem strategy. But from my battling experience with this deck I can say that it still works even without this ability. Of course it won't be as fast but it's still pretty strong. Now the other obvious weakness of this deck is fire. I've tried out Jungle Alarm against fire decks a few times and from my experience, although I've always had a hard time fighting fire type decks, Jungle Alarm still stands a pretty good chance because of its speed. Basically I just have to knock out the fire type Pokemon before they become too strong. And for double battles with 4 players I actually have another grass type deck that goes with this Jungle Alarm deck and it contains a card that can cancel my fire weakness. Please tell me in the comments if you found this kind of video interesting and maybe I will also make a part 2 to introduce this other grass type deck that I just mentioned. And of course I would like to know your opinions on my deck so please let's talk about that in the comments too. I can say that I had a lot of fun talking about this deck because it's one that I've put lots of work into and I'm pretty proud of it. Again, you can find the deck list in the description box. And that's all for today. So see you next time.